Hi guys, long time no see. Um, I haven't posted a video in over a month and also the first thing you probably notice is how manly I sound right now. I've been sick for like two weeks and a couple days ago I barely even had a voice. So that is one reason why it's taken me so long to put this video up because I've been sick and coughing and you know it's just it hasn't been pretty. I haven't been feeling cute like I haven't been feeling like filming a video but um I was like, you know, screw it today, I have to. Like, I haven't put one up in so long, I didn't want you guys to think that I, like, fell off the face of the earth, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, I apologize, like, I've just been so inconsistent with my videos, but classes are over this week, so I will be definitely filming a lot more over the summer. Um, I hope to get, like, a couple videos up per month. Yeah, anyway, today's video is another empties video, and I have this big bag full of stuff that I've been accumulating for weeks and weeks, maybe even a couple of months. I don't remember the last time I did this video, but I accumulated stuff much faster this time, I feel like. I have so many things to go through, so I'm going to try to um, just briefly talk about each one and tell you if I liked it or didn't like it, if I was going to repurchase it. The very first thing I have is this soap from Bath & Body Works, and this is in the scent Summer Escape, and I believe I got this last summer, but it's been, like, I've had so many Bath & Body Works soaps to go through that this has just been sitting in there, and I forgot about it, and then I randomly found it, and I love the smell of this. There's still, like, a tiny bit left in there, but I can't get it out, so, I mean, I can, but whatever, I'm just, like, too lazy. But yeah, I love the scent of this. I hope they come out with another scent like this, or maybe the same one this summer. It smells so good. It's very, like, floral and, um, just very clean smelling, so I love that. Another couple things I've gone through, not very exciting, but they're toothpastes, and the first one is this Crest 3D White, and this is the Lux one in Glamorous White. Um, I didn't really notice like a huge difference, like these didn't, this didn't make my teeth glamorous white, but I love the flavor of this. It's vibrant mint, and um, the Crest 3D White's usually the toothpaste that I gravitate towards, but um, I did decide to be a little rebellious and try something new also, and this is the Colgate Optic White, and I didn't really like this. I mean, I didn't notice it do a huge difference with like whitening my teeth or anything. The only thing that I really notice whitens my teeth are white strips. Um, so like toothpaste and stuff usually don't do anything for me in that sense, but um, I didn't really like the flavor of this or like the texture. It was just very like goopy, if that makes sense. Like it's just not, I don't know, I didn't wasn't a fan, so I was glad to like run out of this. Um, and then the next thing I went through, I'm going completely random here, so like this is in no order, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm talking about. This is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Illuminating Shampoo. I didn't use this, I used this like twice and then I went blonde, so I have no use for this and I also didn't like it when I used it. And then the next thing is this Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Total Care Nourishing Daily Conditioner. And um, I love this line. Like I will definitely be repurchasing this. I already have purchased another conditioner from this clear line. I absolutely love it. It makes my hair so, so soft and silky. And I'm just obsessed with this line. So I will definitely be repurchasing this or like something from this line. Tresemme Split Remedy uh, Split End Conditioner. I've had this for so long and I finally went through it. I finally finished it. I really love this. It smells really, really nice. And... I didn't notice a huge difference with like split ends, but it did make my hair super silky soft. Like when you rinse this out, your hair is like slippery. Um, and yeah, so I really liked this. I don't know if I'll repurchase it right away, but probably eventually in the future I will. It's just, this, these are so big and I get bored and it takes me forever to go through one of these. So um, yeah, but I, I did really like this. Next thing is this uh, Motions Deep Penetrating Treatment, and this is for all hair textures. This is like a deep conditioner. Again, I only use this a couple times. Um, I don't know why I bought this. Like, it says it's for all hair textures, but um, I think this is really for, like, relaxed hair, like ethnic hair. It says relaxed, pressed, natural, or weaved. So I don't really know why I bought this. I think I just, like, saw it, and it was in one of these tubes, and I was like... Oh, like, I'll buy it. It looks like a deep conditioner. And, um, I think it was alright. I just hate the smell. So, 
it just, I don't know, it doesn't smell like a very nice like conditioner. So I will not be repurchasing this. I didn't even really use the whole thing. I used it, I used this maybe three times. Next thing I went through is this Suave Dry Shampoo. Love this. This is one of my favorite ones besides the Dove, the Dove Dry Shampoo. They're both really great. Both inexpensive. This one's a little cheaper and honestly this works just as well if not if not better than the Dove so I love this it's a great dry shampoo I like this more than the Oscar Blondie I don't know I've tried like a few higher end dry shampoos and I like this one more or like the same and this is like three dollars at the drugstore so I will definitely be repurchasing this eventually next I went through a bunch of makeup wipes and the first one that I went through is this simple cleansing facial wipes I like these they're cheap they're not like spectacular but they're they're simple and they they do the trick so um, I'll probably repurchase this and then um, the next one I have is the Target brand or the up and up brand makeup remover cleansing towelettes and these are supposed to mimic the Neutrogena ones I think and um, I like these a lot they do a great job at getting all my makeup off um, and then I went through two of the Maybelline clean express ones and these are so good like these are probably my favorite out of all of these um, they just get my makeup off like completely they're really saturated so um, I hate makeup wipes that are like kind of dry these are really really saturated so I love these I'll definitely repurchase these right now I'm using the Neutrogena ones because they were on sale at CVS so I just bought a couple of those but um, when I run out of those I'll probably go back to the Maybelline Clean Express ones next I went through a face mask and this is like I don't know the brand I think it's Freeman um, facial enzyme mask in pineapple. I think I got this in a my glam bag or now it's ipsy like ugh, A year ago or something and I just used it I really liked it actually I was very pleasantly surprised it made my skin really like glowy and soft So I really really liked this and I think I got like two or three uses out of it So yeah, and then I went through another soap from Bath and Body Works And this is like one of the foamy ones and this is in the scent Malibu citrus Again, I think this is super old. Like, this might be from last spring or summer. Um, I didn't like this one as much. Like, I liked it, but it's a lot of these Bath & Body Works soaps, for some reason, smell really good when you're, like, washing your hands. And then when you dry them, they have this weird, like, after scent. I don't know if that's just me, but, like, I've noticed that a lot with Bath & Body Works soap. Like, some of them don't smell very good after you're done washing your hands. So, um, I would not repurchase this one, but Bath & Body Works soaps are really the only soaps I use, so I will definitely repurchase, like, one of these soaps. Next thing I went through, this is, like, kind of awkward, but, I mean, we're all girls here for the most part. I mean, I think my male viewership is, like, 2%, so... I think we're like safe to talk about this. This is the Summer's Eve Delicate Blossom Cleansing Wash for sensitive skin and this is like for um, to like balance your pH levels in your um, in your like lady parts. This is just good for like when you're on your period or like whatever. Um, it's just it's just one of those good things to have if you're a girl in my opinion. It's just like a really gentle like simple cleanser and I went through one of these and um, I did repurchase this. Then I went through this uh, Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Shaving Cream and this is for sensitive skin. This is like the limited edition one for the uh, Chic Hydro Silk Razor. Um, and I really like this. I repurchased it already and it just it smells really good. It's it's just your typical shaving cream. It makes your skin soft and everything. Then I went through this Eden Allure Beauty Bar and this is actually like a bar of soap that came inside this. And um, this is the exotic argan oil with grapefruit so they have two different scents i think they have a lavender one and then a grapefruit one if you guys have stuck around with me for a long time you know how much i love like citrusy grapefruit scents so i absolutely loved this and it made my skin so so super soft and it's totally organic it has argan oil it has coconut oil um it has a bunch of like amazing like moisturizing properties to it so i would definitely recommend this and uh, if you're looking even if you don't like bar soap, because I'm really not a fan of bar soap, but you could still use bar soap with loofahs, like just like lather it up in the loofah and use it just like you would any other soap. It has a really nice lather. Um, it's not like too soapy because it is like organic, there's no sulfates or anything to it. So um, 
it's not like extremely lathery but I still really enjoy this and it made my skin super soft so um I will definitely be getting another one of these I went through is this Pureology hydrate conditioner and I absolutely love this I purchased the gigantic liter of it and um yeah this is like one of my favorite 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 conditioners I've ever used I bought this right after I went blonde because I knew that I needed like a heavy heavy deep conditioner and this totally does the trick like it makes my hair super soft the only thing I don't like about it is the scent it is minty and it kind of like tingles on your back like my hair goes down to my butt so when I ha when I have this on in the shower like my entire back is like tingling and cool and I like that like that's fine but I wish it had like a nice floral scent or something that stuck around after you rinsed it out because um, I love my hair to smell good and this doesn't make your hair smell good it doesn't make your hair smell bad it just doesn't have like a nice scent to it and I love the actual conditioner last couple of things um, this is the Tarte Clean Slate Flawless and this is a primer it's supposed to be a brightening primer I didn't really like it that much I didn't notice that it did really anything as far as brightening goes um, I will not repurchase this I love Tarte like Tarte's one of my favorite makeup brands but this really didn't do what I wanted it to do so I will not repurchase this and then the last makeup item is this Maybelline Instant Age or Wine Dark Spot Treatment Corrector. So um, I got this a few months ago, finally went through it. It has this little like sponge applicator which might be uh, unsanitary but it does have like antimicrobial properties in the sponge supposedly so I don't know I really loved this concealer it has really good coverage it's supposed to help fade the spots that you apply it to but I didn't notice that I just really liked the concealer itself like, I love the consistency and everything so I will definitely be repurchasing this after I go through my other concealers so yeah that is all I have to talk about today for my empties I'm sorry again that I didn't get a video up for over a month like that's just absolutely ridiculous um, you guys are probably getting so sick of my like inconsistent filming schedule but I promise over summer which is like a couple days away I will be filming so much more so much more consistently um, yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos and let me know if you want to see more and um, leave a comment below and tell me if you have any questions or anything like that and I will see you guys in my next video bye